here's Miss Hedy Lamar. Here's a massive thank you to the Hollywood actress, one whose work contributed to the basis of today's Wi-Fi. Born in 1914, Hedy Lamar was an inspiration for the cartoons Snow White and Catwoman and starred in many Hollywood movies. She also had a genius IQ and was a frequent inventor. You always doubt me, don't you? In 1941, she and a colleague patented a concept called frequency hopping. Frequency hopping would eventually form a core component of what would become today's Wi-Fi networks. Lamar's invention set the stage for modern Wi-Fi, no question. In the same way that flint and steel led to the Zippo lighter, she created that spark. We wanted to show the connection between Lamar's patent and today's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Lamar figured out that rotating through a fixed number of frequencies over a period of time would be an effective way to connect two devices, and demonstrated how to do that. By connecting over those series of hops, devices could limit the chances of interference. Here's an example. If we had a walkie-talkie, we could agree to talk on channel 5. But if others talked on channel 5, or on 4, or on 6, we could potentially get our signals interfered with. But what if we could hop from channel 5, to 67, to 92, to 15? If both devices knew that pattern in advance, they could connect on that pattern. The pattern alone would make it difficult and unusual for anyone to figure out how our channels hopped or accidentally land on our channel pattern. Here's the connection to Wi-Fi. A key component of good Wi-Fi is to avoid interference. Another radio device broadcasting on the same frequency, for instance. Wi-Fi has unique frequency ranges, just like radio. And within the Wi-Fi ranges, a device could use frequency hopping to avoid interference, so that signal could come in clearly. Wi-Fi was standardized in 1997, and frequency hopping was used until the early 2000s. Even today, current transmission methods still use a range of frequencies They've just adopted more effective transmission methods. But that's all built on what Lamar figured out. Lamar's last acting role was in 1958, but she continued to invent her entire life. It was only in recent years that Lamar had received credit for her idea. Her response before she died in 2000, it's about time. Amateurs, I think. Women who worked in the tech field couldn't agree more. From everyone at the product team at Extreme Networks, thank you, Hetty your contributions.